sex. Sex happens in prison, but it is not, it is a rule that you're not supposed to have sex. You can't hold hands, you can't kiss, nothing like that. Does it happen? Yeah, but we would prefer that it didn't. Before I got here, when people were caught, meaning we walked in on them, they were handcuffed, walked over to segregation. We started talking about that a little bit because sex is not against the law out on the streets. I had a hard time with people getting handcuffed after they were caught because I don't want women to feel dirty about their bodies or about what they do. And so it's important that we also respect that. Cheryl wants to treat the women as grown-ups, but sex is the main disciplinary problem in the prison. Officers patrol the rooms every half hour. Two women have just been caught in bed together. No, no, tomorrow. Maya Williams is a counsellor. I want to find out what is allowed between prisoners. When you catch them in the act, what happens? Now that we're being more gender responsive, um, we try to do things a little bit differently. If it's a male officer, he'll kind of step away and say, get your clothes on and, and you need to come out. If, if it was mutual, we let them know that this is not appropriate. We talked about this before, you remember? I know that. And this is not supposed to be happening. We understand that women are relationship driven. So as much as we think like we're doing everything to stop it, it's very, very, very hard. Oh, it's very complicated. It is very complicated, yes. Well, women have needs. Yeah, oh yes, and they're, yeah, well, relationship driven. Are there dildos in here, or is it just like oral? No, they do everything. You would be amazed. They make those, they and make as much- They make dildos? They make them, yes. Out of what? I think before they've used oatmeal. Um, oatmeal? Yeah, and, and I think they cook it or something. One lady said that they would use hot dogs, so you, you had to be careful with, you know, with them bringing the hot dogs back and putting them. So they come up with some things. I mean, I've never heard that before on hot dogs. Yeah. Mia. I can see why I haven't been cut off from the outside world. Many women seek out relationships inside. Judy White was married with children when she was convicted of first-degree murder. Hi, Pops. How are you? Oh, good, good. Then she met Helena Burrell, better known as Pops, who is also serving life for murder. And somehow they've managed to keep a relationship going for more than 30 years. You two have been together longer than I've been alive. That's a long time, honey. Yeah, I suppose. Was it love at first sight? Yeah, it was for me, not for her, I don't think that it was for yeah. me. Why did you fall for Pop so quickly? I don't know. She so bored just... being in prison? No, nope, sir. That isn't true. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like the way you look. Yeah, we're, we're really best friends, because, I mean, I trust her with everything. Yeah. So when people say something now, I say we're companions. The relationship changes over years. You prioritize different things. Well, are you awake today? Are you alive today? Great. <laughs> Hi, honey. It's less about the sex and more about checking if you're alive. Yep. I guess to survive a life sentence, you need relationships. Whether it's inside or outside prison. Today is a big day because it's visitors day. Um, I would say there is a buzz about the place, you know, there's a queue for the showers, uh, the girls are putting their lippy on, the hairdryers are going. Look, look at me, you've got it on your tooth. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Thank you. Visitor's Day is complicated for Tatiana Dixon. She's serving life for first degree murder, but her longtime partner, Kristen, was released from prison two years ago. Most prisons wouldn't allow them to see each other again. But Cheryl allows Kristen to visit twice a year. How did you two get together in here? She was um, a tutor up in education, but I was always shy around her. I don't know why. And I would tell my friends all the time, I'm going to get her. She's just so smart. I like smart people. And she's one of the smartest people I've ever met. Have you always liked women? Yes. Has she? No. I'm the first. No. Does Cheryl allow you to embrace? Yeah. Uh, we get to before, before the visit and after the visit. Are you allowed to snog? Yes. 
got a couple of months worth locked inside you. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. What does your future together look like realistically? What it looks like is what we have every day. We talk every day. But as far as what the future future holds, I can't predict. I understand the severity of the situation. I have life. She has a life. All right. Happy? Yep. You look smart. How long do you get with Kristen? All day. You do? Yep. Thank you. Have you got butterflies? Yeah. Oh. There's nothing nicer, is there, than going to see your special person? so much about you, Kristen. <laughs> I feel like I'm meeting the queen. I no, really do. You're illegal. Why am I illegal? You're supposed to have it down to your knees. What to my knees? Your shirt. Wow. But that's okay. We're still going to let you in. Oh, I didn't know. You're too, you're looking too cute, man. You can't be like It's a that. shirt and pants. Are you it's serious? It. It's a shirt. It's a shirt. And then you're just judging me. Okay. I think you will really split people. I think some people will think you recognise that these women are human beings as well as offenders. Other people will say you're too soft on these women, mm -hmm. prison is too comfortable, they've got all of these privileges that the victim's families might not want them to have. Oh, I think there will be people that will look at me and think you need to experience what we experience. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. Yeah, you know, I like... do too. And what would you say if they said they're not suffering, they're not hurting in the same way that we are? Correct. They aren't. They're still alive. And my job is to keep them safe and make this place a humane place while they're still on Earth. But at the end of the day, there's times that I think, I question myself. Am I doing the right thing?